of animosity between like uh, people in the game, right? Um, we've been uh, listen. We've been a part of the game for like five months, at least me personally, five six months, like with Zuck alongside Zuck. Um, and it always seems to come down to not us speaking about our problems with each other, but it always comes down to you being a middleman, right? Which I feel is is sort of like it's it's good to have meetings, right? But at at a at a certain extent, you can speak about things with, between each other. You know, you can sort of communicate that. And uh, Tariq said that he would feel like he'd get jumped on all this, but if that's the case, then we gotta speak about speak about that and uh, sort of say that that won't happen. And or or you know. Well, here's because... the thing. Here, there's a few things I can say about this, right? Okay. First of all, I'm King Slime. I should be knowing about everything. I should literally know about everything, literally everything. Okay. Okay. Second thing is, um, you know, we all know, sometimes Zuck is not very good at articulating himself, right? When there's three or yeah. four of you or two of you just yelling at him or saying a bunch of words back to back to back, you know he can get caught up on his words and and not know what to say. So how do you sit there and get upset? He he wants me to help articulate how he feels. See what I'm okay. saying? And here's the third thing. The third thing is we wouldn't have to have me in the fucking middle if you guys just learned. Am I wrong? I mean, trust me, after this, I've definitely learned my lesson, so... I mean... Th listen, since you're starting to finally speak the fucking truth, I want you to speak your whole fucking truth, please. No no holding back, then leaving, and then thinking about what the fuck happened, and then coming back. Speak your fucking truth. I mean, genuinely, like, I just feel like, I guess we just gotta spend more time together, because I... You can like be, you know, like if if he seriously feels like he's he, he like he like okay, we're bitching this and that. You could just say it, you know. I get I get it. Like you said, he has a problem articulating, but you could just say those two words, and like everybody would know that like, there should be at least um, some type of sign that we know. Because if, if we have no clue that he is having a, an issue with something, and we do it for fifteen minutes, uh, thirty minutes, an hour, two hours, right, to a certain extent, without no heads up or no sign of him being like uncomfortable with anything or like not liking anything then it just uh, i don't know you know like uh, that's my thing okay so here's my question right last time you guys fucked around with him and and he got upset about it what isn't that a clear telltale sign that maybe when i talk to zuck i shouldn't be fucking around for 30 minutes straight in his ear Right? Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, this is uh, a nail in the, in the coffin. Like, I, I get, you know, that's the conclusion now, but. No, 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 no. It was the conclusion over a month ago. You just haven't come to it. Am I, I guess, wrong? But, I mean, not really, but, you know, for me, it takes, like, a, a double nail in the coffin to sort of this guy. figure shit out. Because, like, I mean, I take things as like, as, like, the first time lightly, and then the second one is, like, okay, you know, this is serious. Was the double uh, I see is remember Marty um, I think uh, I, I think it was like a couple months ago or weeks I don't know when it was but remember you said like hey this is a gang we're not you know I don't, you don't come join a gang to be fucking friends you join a gang to be a gang right okay so obviously you know you make friends and then you guys there's different le different levels of relationships I see how um, I'm gonna just say it I see it as like he just doesn't want to fuck with us like that, and obviously we can't fuck with him like that. So I just see that now that it took this to, for me to realize, like, yeah, let's just treat him as a gang member. Obviously, not we're not all going to be friends. You know, uh, there's certain lines that people draw where it's different from each other. You know, so I told the same thing to them. Obviously, you know, we, we can't. Um, yeah, it took this long for me to realize, but obviously, just we just gotta not act different, but just. But like, you know, just be different around him because obviously he's not going to take it how we take it. So, Well, here's the thing, right? There was a point. I'm pretty sure there was a point where he was riding with you guys all the time. You guys were shitting on each other back and forth. Like he was doing what you guys were doing back then, right? And then I i don't know when it, exactly it was, but there was just there was just a few days where you guys just shit on him and it wasn't a joke. Like you you getting pressed at him, shooting uh, like TKing or whatever and like actually pushing it, his shit in over it. Like, and you just, you just, uh... Oh, you probably you probably hurt his feelings, you know. Like, I know we're a gang; well, it's like, not supposed to be about feelings, but like you probably literally hurt his feelings, and it, you probably just cruised that relationship with him and made him see things and see you guys differently. Like you, you fucked him up. 
and that comes back to Richard Paul. Why doesn't he communicate with that? Like he he does he doesn't communicate anything with us. Right. That's why I come in the middle and I and I say, okay, this is this is like stop, I, I, bro. This isn't the first conversation I've had about you guys and Zuck. I'm no, I agree with said, that. You but know, do you like, not also see it as a problem where he can't communicate any of that with us? Um, I I see your point. But it's like I said, right? I, I can't sit there and, and make him articulate himself better. Like, you know how he is. Like, he gets caught up in his on his words, and sometimes he just doesn't know how to say or, or talk back. Like, he's not really built for that kind of stuff. I, what I do know is that he 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 knows how to do his own thing independently, and he knows, he knows how to stay responsible. So, like, I can't sit there and be like, you know what? Articulate better or you're fucked. You see? He's just different than you guys. People I mean, are different I'm not than saying one that I'm just... Uh... Like and I, I, I know, you're not, I know you're not saying that, but I, I just don't see what I what I really can do about it. I just try to work around it the best I can. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't sit here and be like, you know what? All of you guys can't shit on each other anymore. I work around that. There's there's things and and people that all all of you guys sit here and do, and I work around it. Make sure that everyone somewhat stays as happy as happy as possible. You know? Okay, and I have a question, right? So, um, let's say stuff happens, people talk to you, right? Because in that meeting at the ending, you said like we have a, we had a problem with uh, the money going to the gang fund, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna, a bit like because nobody had a problem with the, with the money going to the gang gang fund, right? So I'm just confused if there's like whenever stuff like this happens, if there's mis misinformation or like you know like you only get one side and then um, uh, somebody says a thing that never happened that we don't know about and then we never mention it, which then you 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 pose the question and then it never happened, you know? What? Did you repeat that? That confused the hell out of me. Okay. So you know, in the in the end, end of that meeting, you said um, that we had the problem with the money going to the gang fund, right? Yeah. Right. That was that was never an issue. that was never an issue, right? Um. So I'm I just want to know, um, or I don't know I don't know how this works, but is whenever stuff like this happens, are there things that are said? Um, that we are completely unaware about, which was never mentioned even in the, in the whole thing, um, you know, poses a different narrative for you, for you and your thoughts whenever you're like the middleman, you know? I have no idea what you're saying. I, I, right I, I, think, I, I think he's saying Bro, like... Basically what he's trying to say is that he feels like you're just getting one side of the story and sticking with it, bro. Like, what, what does that have saying. to do with the gang fund? Because it's no, like... It's, it wasn't it's, a problem on our example. side. We didn't care. Like it's an example from the from the meeting. Right. That that's why we go to the meeting. I, I asked for your side and, and you said there was no complaints and then they didn't they didn't argue. Zuck said, Oh yeah, th they did. And then he said and then when you said who, he says, I'll tell you who. I don't know. So I just completely took it out of my mind. I didn't sit there and argue. If I if I actually believed you guys were mad about money going into the gang fund. Trust me, I wouldn't have told you to get out of there. I would have killed you all. Okay. Because the way you uh, posed that question is, um, so I forgot what you said exactly, but you said, so who the fuck has a problem with the, with the money going to the gang fund? Or who had, a, who had an issue with that, right? Right, that's what and I was it's... told. And then it was clarified. And then, I, and then I believed you. So that's what I'm saying. Why not, you know, like you, at that at that certain point, you're sticking to one narrative instead of uh, no, getting to... No, I'm not. Because if I stuck to a narrative, I would have acted, not spoke. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's why I go to these meetings. That's why we have these meetings. We can speak level heads and understand one another. So we're all on the same page. If there was any confusion, what? it gets cleared up. I go to you because those are your OGs. Those are those are your yeah. OGs. So I'm going to take their word and I'm going to go to a meeting with it. But in, in, in contrast, right? If you tell me Zuck's, Zuck's fucking around, I'm going to talk to Zuck privately. You know why? Because he's your fucking big OG. He's your big Z. I'm gonna speak yeah. to him privately. You don't get that same right. I don't know if that if that hurts your feelings. I don't know what to tell you. No, I don't care. Um, Does that make sense though? Like I'm telling you, if I if I if he told me everything, and I and I said okay, I believe you 100 through to through. I would not take the time out of my day to talk. I'd just start acting. Okay. So in in, in my mind, uh, let's say the question was asked as if like, so does anybody have a problem with money going to the gang fund? You know, like that's that, that's different from the way you said it, right? But I mean, I get your point. Nobody has a problem that... with money going to the game fund, but 
they didn't say that till the very end because they literally said at the beginning like Richard asked about the cut and they're like Tony was like stop cock watching and we all thought we were joking we were fucking around like oh I even said I was like I keep saying this I even said hey 100k divided by 6 is 16,000 where's our cuts like obviously uh-huh. fucking around they, they didn't say nothing about the gang fund until once we were pretty much over there like oh it's going to the gang fund and then that's I'm, when they said that I mean that that's listen that's not the problem my point is like as if like I don't like I'm just taking it as an example of what happened here you know like in, in the meeting I don't like as if like um what the real reasoning you uh, you know i'm just saying like in I think my what mind Richard's like, trying to say is instead of him going strictly to you why doesn't he just t- go to him but yeah, marty literally just explained that right he can't articulate himself like he wants to so obviously he's going to go to marty so he can say it no same shit tyreek said no I'm, I'm asking i'm asking like in my mind the question um this is the way that okay Bro. listen this, this is the way that i thought of that question okay um so does anybody huh. have an issue with money going to the gang fund in, in that example right let's say towards the ending like that's the question instead of um so who has, so who has a problem with money going to the gang fund you know but i get it you said that you um those are our ogs and you you know you listen to them you take it you know with trust richard i don't i don't want to insult about, you but i don't know what you're i don't know what you're saying i'm talking about the delivery of that question yeah, you know bro like towards the end, listen, the meeting was going towards an end. There was a question that was asked. So who has a, who has a fucking problem with the money? Okay. Going to, okay. The so, you're, so you're saying, you're saying I, I came, I came into that and accused you instead of asking you is what you're yeah. saying. Right. Because it's like I said, I, I'm going to believe, uh, I'm going to believe in o, your OG over, uh, listen, it wasn't Zuck that told me all these things, by the way, Zuck didn't sit there and say anything. When I talked to Selena and and him, it was only Selena saying all these things. And Selena is day one. Of course, I'm gonna believe everything she tells me. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess uh, I guess the, the disconnection there is because like uh, we haven't really like seen Selena for like a, a while, and we haven't really got to talk to her like or hang out, right? So it's like she doesn't know what we're like. That's I think like that's the disconnection here. You know. Yeah, and and she'll warm up to you, right? And, and you guys will get along better. But it's like I said, this is why we, this is why we have these talks. None of you are punished. None of you or whatever. I I think this whole thing isn't a big deal. I, I think it was just something that needed clarification and and just clear the air. Obviously, we didn't clear the air very very uh, thoroughly because everyone left there uh, tense as fuck. It was very obvious everyone left tense as fuck. But it was better than just leaving it at that, you know? Because then I would have been tense as well, and then I would have. Uh, had to deal with going back and forth individually and this and that and, and deal with fucking bullshit. So I just had everyone meet up and talk it out. There's no punishment. No one, I don't think anyone did anything wrong. I just think, uh, at least from my side, uh, verification, right? And this, these things take time. Like, right, if Selena's going to be back around more and more, it, it'll take time, right? She doesn't understand you guys because she's used to a way different GG. When, when Levi, this guy Levi, he didn't respect Selena's Serena's call, uh, Selena's call, uh, and just talked back for the first time. For the first time, he it was a it was a shit show. If um, and I've said this before, I'll tell you it again. If you guys were there for the beginning of GG, you wouldn't survive more than two days. None of you. Not two days. So she that's what she thinks GG still is, right? We're really fucking nice to GGA now. We are incredibly fucking nice. It's unbelievable, right? And I'm not saying that you, sh- you you don't deserve to be treated nicely or treated fairly. I'm saying that she's used to something else. So when she, when she hears on the radio back and forth bickering for minutes on end, 10, 15, 20, I don't care how fucking long, it's, it's probably confused the absolute shit out of her. You can't sit there and blame her. You don't know what she's been through. You don't know what we've all been through. See what I'm saying? Okay. I see what you're saying. Um, I have another question about. So, there's this. Okay, so let, let me let's just say this, right? Like, there's um, like GG respects or has to listen to GGZ and etc. Like ranks, vice versa, right? Um, okay. I feel like um, it comes to a certain point at a gang. Let's say at a gang, you know. As I said, like five months, six months of just being together, right? Like at a point, you become friends, right? And then you just sort of grow off each other, right? So that 
sort of um talking with each other and respect and you know listening to one another working together comes from not just your rank but just the way like you treat each other right which is like you know like you know we're just fucking fucking around and then like shit like that so what did he say i mean that's just like i'm that's not a question that's an observation but um yeah i don't know that's just how i feel Could you reiterate that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like, listen, <laughs> the respect and the listening part, um, shouldn't, shouldn't like, you know, it's just from the way you treat each other. Right. And I get it. Like at a, okay. Let's say you just join a gang, right? Yes. There's, there's a hierarchy, but to a certain extent, to a certain level, um, when you work together for months upon end, that becomes into a friendship, right? And you're working together without like, there, there shouldn't be like that, that back of the mind thought where it's like, oh, this guy is GGZ. I should listen to him. Oh, this guy, this maybe, uh, you know, like he's lower than me. Oh, this, this is that it, it comes down to um, like, yes, there's a leader, but there's also those, you know, minions per se, right? Like everybody, um, which is what I feel is like, I don't know. I just see it like, yeah, I mean, that, that's my observation. Can someone else okay, I think he's trying to bro, say... Bro, just talking at this point, yo. <laughs> I, bro, I, I think he's trying to say, like, after a certain amount of time, you just become friends, right? And, like, he doesn't, um, doesn't think, like, people should you don't fuck with constantly you, bro, bro. put in rank, and it should be, like, people just, you know, listen to each other type of thing. But there's obviously a time and place for, like, people well, making calls, right? That's what he's trying to say, I think. Here's what I think. I think that GGA is spoiled, right? It's like I said, you guys, you guys have it way easier than it was before, right? So these are the kinds of things you have to sit there and fucking deal with because you're so spoiled. Because I don't want to sit there and flip flop and be a, the same fucking asshole I was a few months ago. There are just some things that just can't be adjusted to. The, it can't be a perfect. This is not a perfect system. The way the way it is right now, it's not a perfect system. If it was, you'd be treated like fucking dog shit and kicked out four months ago. All of you. Respectfully. Okay? So, there. of course, he's going to be able to... They're going to be able to pull rank whenever the fuck they feel like it. Because, the truth is, you guys are all very fucking spoiled. Unbelievably spoiled. Okay? I get... I, there's 20 meth tables in circulation. Okay? 20 meth tables. And we can't even do a run a week. RM... Has what has two tables, and they're pushing a run a week. They have two. We have ten times what they have. No, 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 no. Sorry, not twenty tables. We have twenty-four tables in circulation. You see what I'm saying? And I don't sit here and bitch about it. I deal with it, and I move around, and I and I make everyone as happy as they can be. Now, if you want me to fucking set things straight and have things be straight, Richard, you tell me right now. I swear to God. I'll put everything in a straight fucking line. But things have to be fucking zigzag to make everybody happy. Do you want everyone to be happy or you want things to be in a straight line? See what I'm yeah, saying? See? Because, listen, this is what it is. This is what it is. And I, I'm not here to shit on you, right? I'm not here to shit on you. There are things that you do. There are things that Future does. There's things that everyone in this gang does that is fundamentally incorrect, right? And they continue to do that. But I don't sit here and bitch about it, okay? I don't sit here and complain and, and, and bitch and cry and moan and kick you out and, and shoot you and fuck you and, and, butt, and butt you. I don't do any of that. I work around all of these things all day. So when you see one problem out of the hundred problems, it's not fair for you to come. And I'm not, I swear I'm not trying to yell at you. It's not fair for you to come at me and be like, here's this one problem that I've noticed out of the hundred. I'm going dis to disregard the 99. Fix this one. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, I have a question then. So, uh, what problems do I have as of right now? Like, that you see? When's the last time you hit a bank? Uh, a few days ago. Where'd that money go? Um, to... Well, Dumbfuck uh, said I'm not getting a cut. <laughs> Why? Um, because <laughs> apparently I joined the bank and there was, it was already... They had four people and what I was uninvited. Was it? it was Peter, Foyd, and Future. Okay, Peter Forehead Future, where'd that money go? 
Uh, I think we divided it up. I Wait, think it was what a about the 35% city. to the gang fund? It was a base city, so it was like, what, 325 bags? Wait, where, where's the, the, where are the bags? Where the, where the bags go? Uh, I sold my bags today. Okay. I still see, got mine. See the problem there? Richard, when's the, the, the time before that you hit a bank? Um, the that the, the the last Polito that I I took I had money control of, uh, I put the I put um, the cut in the storage container. Where did that go? Uh, it was in the storage container. Like someone I just took the... it out and it wasn't GG main. Okay. Okay. You you listen you Richard, you are the best at banks, right? When it comes to the gang, you are fundamentally the best. You can hack and drive, right? You sit there, and you don't do it for the gang. You just, uh, fuck around. Now, if you cared about the gang, the way I care about the gang, you'd have been doing them. I don't, I don't think it's fundamentally wrong. I just think that there are things, multiple things, that, that you can do do better for the gang. If you truly sat there and cared about it. You are better than me at banks when it comes to quote-unquote skills, right? You can hack and drive. I can only hack. I can't drive for fucking shit. I drive a fucking bike, that's it. I mean, but the hacking part, listen... Everybody in the gang can literally do anything. Like nobody, listen. When I come to a bank, everybody's like, "Okay, I'm doing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna entangle. I'm gonna do drills. I'm gonna do laptop." There's nothing that I do. Okay, not even drive. I just sit there. That's like, I, yes, I used to do those Why? things, but now because everybody just wants to step in. Like that, that's a, that's the thing. I used to do them, but now everybody wants to Here's have a. Have... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When it comes to heist progression, when it comes to heist progression, you can lead that fucking scene. I don't care. You can tell. Listen. I'm telling you this now. If you didn't understand it before, you can. T I'm telling you now. Heist progression is your own fucking thing, right? You can tell Forehead he's not fucking invited to the goddamn bank. You can tell Forehead he's not getting a fucking cut to the fucking bank if it's your fucking bank, okay? I want the fucking gang fund in the money in the bank. If you, I don't care if you hit it with fucking CG. I don't care if you hit it with fucking uh, Hydra. Thirty-five percent of the of the bank needs to go to the gang fund. If there's a group that you that that isn't down to do that and take out that thirty-five percent, fuck them. Don't do it with them. Do it with people that can. That's all you. Them. And scamming them is just going to cause problems. Okay. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to heist, Richard, you know best. You know best. You know what to do. If 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 future over here is, well, I want to do I want to do fucking phones at Polito, and you tell him no, fucking no. You know what the fuck you're doing. You have the fucking experience. You. You literally were hitting fucking vaults back to back with fucking GG main a while ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know what you're doing. All right. Okay. And if you want me to go back to the problems, you want me to list more, or are we Gucci? You, you want me I mean, to you just you, you told me that you told me that. Uh, well, that the, the, what I got from that is just like not putting, um, I guess, stepping away from bank busting and not putting the thirty percent in the. In not the thing. not just that. Okay, the last meth run, the last meth run that was fully supplied by, by GG. Do you know who put in the most pillows? Who? Sam. He's not even GG. Oh yeah, okay. I, I've seen I've seen his cooking. Yeah, I've seen the weasel. Do, do you know how many pillows you were were yours? How many? I believe it was four. Yeah. See the problem there? But to be fair, I I did go I I did vacate for three days. At, okay, the, the at, run before, before that, that. The run before that is probably no more no more than six. Okay, but I mean that's. And that's not that's... just you. That's not just you. It's not just you. Not just you. But isn't that a good average? I mean, that's six times eight is is, or the, let's but say. But the the time it took to get, to accumulate that those fifty pillows was unbelievably slow, considering I dropped three million dollars on this investment. Okay, uh, I feel like what happened is like we were cooking pretty well until the wars came, and then we never picked back up. And here's the thing, right? I agree with you, forehead. I agree with you. But I, I tried expressing without, without bitching too much, right? But expressing, you know, like there are definitely off times, right? Like there's like these in betweens where you, where you can find a way to cook, right? If you really cared about the gang, the way I do, at least to half the degree that I do, you would find a way to be like, okay, here's my fucking time, time gap. I can fucking cook right now. Fuck it. Let me just get a cook in. But the truth is, the truth is. And I'm not here to fucking shit on you all. You guys don't care about the gang half as much as I care about the gang. And that's okay. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I, mean, I mean, listen. Can I say I, one thing I, about that? Can I say one thing about that real quick? Okay, go ahead. I don't think you should... I don't think it's fair for for to us 
for you to judge how much we care about the game based off how much we cook. It's not just a, based off how you how you cook. It's bro, listen, I've dealt with all of you and I've and I've and I've seen how all of you act have and have acted to everybody in the gang, how you've treated things surrounding the gang for, for months now. Months. It's not just the cooking. Cooking is the most recent thing, right? As soon as, listen, as listen, listen, listen. As soon as the as soon as the uh actual meeting happened where I said all bank cuts get thirty five percent, none of you fucking hit a bank again. What the fuck? You guys were all, all over it before. No one cared yeah. anymore. No one Dude, cared anymore. That's it's not the not reason. A, bro, we queue up. I queue up every day for every single thing. It's, so you guys I mean, you guys tell me when you guys drive around and start fucking boosting or doing whatever, you guys aren't making sure that everyone queued up for every fucking Fleeka? But it's that's not, but that's not because we don't care about the gang. It's the the thirty percent has nothing to do with it. The bank banks are, if I'm being honest, Polito is uh, is I don't know I don't like it. Uh, Flikas are everybody does it. But now I mean, I mean you know like everybody does everything. I just sit there and then whatever you know we have fun. Um, everybody does it, boosting. It, yeah, but that's because it's easily accessible and banks are a bit like we queue up for them. Sure, we don't get it. Okay, then. If you don't get one bank, I feel like it just sort of dies out of these personally. Think about it. Boosts are kind of almost bank. guaranteed banks. You, you never know. Okay. Well, okay. If, well, if, if, if we're going to be... Listen, you listen. Can, you can, Sorry, go on. It's a shitty argument. It's a shitty argument because I'm not telling you to not boost, right? You guys have fun boosting. You guys, you guys fucking kick back, have fun, do whatever, right? I, I agree. Yeah, banks aren't guaranteed. But I know for a fucking fact, I know for a fucking fact, you guys aren't queuing up for the Fleekas. Not all of them. If all three of uh, you, if all four of you sat there for four hours and queued for four banks, I promise you, you would get at least one. I promise you. You are up against nobody but Seaside, and Seaside only cares about the fucking vault, and they hit it every fucking tsunami. Because they're the only ones that queue up. I mean, we get like a jewelry store fucking Fleeka one, like one a day or something like that. For the past two days, we've hit like maybe Listen. a jewelry store, a Fleeka. I feel like, I feel like we like can that. make all the excuses we want, right? But like, me, Richard, and Future have been... Last four days, bro, we've been doing nothing but arguing randomly in cars up in mountains, bro. We could have been cooking meth, right? Still arguing. Like, we could have been we could have been doing better, to be honest. If you're going to be honest with ourselves, right? Like, if you're going to be real, I mean, yeah, we, we've, been, we've been driving around arguing in a car for two hours straight, not cooking a single bag of meth. And, like, that's, every, that's everyone's fault. That's my fault. That's your fault. That's everyone's yeah. fault, right? Like, we were just doing dumb but, shit. Like, I, I get the argument, but at the same time, it's like... I mean, what Future said, you know, I, I get the, like, the, as you said, like, the whole, uh, it's not just meth, but cooking meth is, I mean, when I do it, listen, I, I started cooking again, um, but I fell off for, like, a day now. Um, cooking it, it's, it's just sort of, like... Bro, it's, listen, Chad, it, it, you it's know, a difference it, between it snitching. It, like, it's... Sure, it doesn't have to excite you, but it really doesn't excite me or uh, Future, right? I don't, uh, uh, anybody, I mean, I'm guessing more people, right? But it's... Uh, I get it. It's a responsibility, right? Oh, but it's no. like the four days. I think it sort of equates to, um, um, you know, like just just like hanging around, you know. But yeah, I mean, we could have done better. <laughs> well, what you said there, I, I get it. I literally said this. Meth cooking is not fucking fun, but it's three minutes of your fucking time. It's three minutes. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. And listen. I'll speak my truth now, since I haven't said much about it. The fact that you guys have cooked this little is utterly and entirely embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And if you want me to, if you if you want me to give you an example, if I was straight line fucking GG Marty and wasn't zigzagging around all the fucking problems and issues, I would have fucking freaked out. I would have made you pay for all my fucking tables. I said, give me the tables back, and when you give them back, give me my three hundred fucking k. As well, you see what I'm saying? I'd have, I'd have pissed on your fucking face. I, I wouldn't <laughs> give a fuck. But here's the thing, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm being nice, right? I'm zigzag Marty. I, I'm, I'm dealing with these problems as they occur. I take these losses and I move forward and I try to keep the gang afloat and keep the gang happy. I try to keep everyone in the gang happy. See? So for you to hit, sit here and say, oh, three minutes or oh, this math is not, not exciting enough for me. Or, 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 or. I, I'm sorry, but just respectfully, I don't give a fuck what you what you think about that. But I don't give a fuck. Listen, the three yeah three minutes right. Let's say you do a, a boost, you get an A plus, you get a you get like this, you get constant action for like four hours, right? Then the three minutes just don't fit in, right? Then you can kick oh. once, and then what if don't, I mean don't, 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 don't. okay, don't. all right, never mind. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, <laughs> let's guy. say you're boosting, right? 
four hours straight, you know, bing, bang, bang, bing, 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 bang. You're boosting, you're boosting, you're boosting. After every boost, there is downtime. You can make downtime. There's not, there is never, there is never an incident, incident in the city of Los Santos where you can be occupied for four hours straight without being able to take a break. There is no incident. There yeah, is nothing you can do. There is nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> that's what, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. We argue for like four hours yeah, at a time. You guys are time. fucking around, chopping it up, whatever, boosting, fucking around with each other, punching each other back and forth, yelling at each other. Cool, right? But how hard is it to just grab your table and just fucking cook while arguing at each other and having fun still? It doesn't mean fun time's over. You guys can still fucking hang out. I agree. That's what I was.